the report claims that the police act is vague, permitting such force as is reasonable, with no mention of necessary proportionality or preventative measures. The author of the report, who is also coordinator of gender research and advocacy at the Legal Assistance Center, Diane Hubert, says the absence of clear procedures might leave the law enforcement with pathetic judgment on the application of minimum and all lethal force, which might result in unintended consequences, such as fatalities and body harm, as witnessed during Operation Kalahari and Honkrans. Um, alleged excessive use of force in some particular instances during Operation um, Honkrans and Op Operation Kalahari Desert. So the issue has been to the fore in the, the mind of the public, so we thought, well, let's look and see what actually are the international standards and the Namibian law on this issue. That it's absolutely fundamental that there's a right to life. And if you have habitual excessive use of force, it affects the legitimacy of the police and the state in the eyes of the public. It must be that the use of force was not avoidable. The kind and the amount of force mustn't exceed what is required. And also, if you're using force, it must be that there's something that has to be done immediately, that you can't, you can't do it later through some other means. Was there something upstream that could have been done to prevent this situation from happening in the first place? Hubert was, however, quick to point out that the report should not be seen as disapproving the joint operation of uniformed forces, as it also recalls good work of the law enforcement, especially the reduction in crime and the seizure of illegal drugs. We're not trying to point fingers at police. We even, um, I hope you'll note, we cited um, the police statistics on how much crime has been reduced by the recent operations. So we tried to be, to be balanced. Nampol's Major General Anna Marie Nainda was also at the launch and clarified Nampol's stance. I'm sure. We have for intelligence, we select the objectives of a particular operation based on intelligence and things that we take. Mm -hmm. And then all role players are having their particular role in such an operation. We are well trained, including the, and all of us are well trained in the use of force. The report proposes that the Namibian Law Reform and Development Commission together with the line ministries benchmark from countries such as South Africa, UK and New Zealand, among others, to make clear amendments to the Police Act in the interest of the public, the state and justice. Daniel Nadunyan, BC News, Venthook.